Almost there. A place where humans fight monsters and each other for amusement. I can almost smell the blood and sweat that permeates these stones. Oh, here's those guys. Let's see what you're made of. We're going to have you fight some of our clan's monsters. Take care. This is strictly practice, of course, but accidents happen. And don't hold back, either. Speak to me again once you're ready. This way. to this layer? Oh, come on! Aren't you ready to rumble? I'm not sure I'd put it like that. Your old wounds aren't acting up, are they? Huh? Uh, no. It's fine. Now that we're doing this, it's gonna have to heal whether it likes it or not. Time to start the test. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. Go ahead. We'll be watching from the stands. Mission, no matter what happens, I'm right. Never stop him. I was afraid we might have to jump in and rescue you, but clearly that wasn't necessary. Of course not. We're unbeatable. My apologies. I guess I underestimated you. Just me? <laughs> Pretty sure everybody underestimates you. Don't make fun of my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Tomorrow's tournament will be even more challenging. They used to be fought to the death. It was the only way to determine the ruling clan. Whoa. Fortunately, things are different now. The current king of Ajul outlawed that old practice. Sounds like the king's a real prince. Anyway, the real test will be tomorrow. I've gotten you rooms at the inn. Make sure to get a full night's rest. Alright, so I guess we're supposed so to go to the inn. why build a coliseum up in the sky? To ensure a decisive battle. In the olden days, the loser would be the one who gets pushed out of the ring. People here sure get excited about these tournaments. Do you not like competitive sports? I don't have anything against them, but I don't get the appeal either. I guess that isn't very manly of me, huh? I don't consider that a bad thing. It definitely defines who you are. 
The world is far more interesting with people being different from one another. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better about it. But hey, don't get me wrong. I'm still interested in the tournaments from a cultural perspective. Don't they have some major significance in the history of Ajul? The clans have a history of lengthy conflicts and a shared reverence for individual strength. The purpose of the tournaments may be a way to unify the clans under their common belief. Let's hope that belief binds them together, rather than causing more turmoil. Alright, since it starts tomorrow, let's go use that in room they're supposed to have for us. So what's all these statues seem to be of great warriors from Era's past. So when I get super strong, you think they'll make a statue of me too? It appears all of the statues in Shandu were carved by hand, without the use of spirit arts. Statue carving served as a part of a warrior's training. They sure had their work cut out for them. Alright, let's see. We don't have a ton of money. Let's do a quick save. rest. You look bright-eyed and ready to fight. Good. Today's schedule is packed. Because of the number of participants, the tournament organizers decided to cram all the fights into one day. One day? Sounds rough. We'll find out how many fights there'll be once today's matchups are announced. When you hear the bell tolling, come to the arena at once. That heralds the start of the tournament. We'll be waiting up at the arena. I guess we have some time to kill. What should we do? I'm going to the plaza. Something's been bothering me. Oh, I'll come with you. I'll get too antsy just standing around here. Hmm. Maybe I'll tag along too. What should I do? Hey Jude, let's go sightseeing! I want to look around the city too. Oh yeah, you did say this place seems familiar. I shall escort Miss Elise. Will you accompany us? Sure, why not? Don't forget, race to the arena when you hear the bell. Okay. I wonder if we can just go to the arena now. Apparently not. Let's go explore around a little bit then. Come here to examine the debris? It's unimportant. Isla! You seem to have healed nicely. Yep, yeah, thanks to you. You know Alvin? Uh, no. It's fine, Dr. Isla. The good doctor here is actually taking care of my mother. Is that right? She's here in town? 
Oh, so that's why you have so much local knowledge. Her health's not so good. My father's gone, and I don't have any brothers or sisters. So the doctor keeps an eye on her when I'm away. You just told us more about yourself in one minute than you have since we met. If you say so, I just... I just want to make her better so I can take her back home. Where's that? Is it far from here? Farther than you can imagine. Well, if there's anything we can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. Sure, yeah, if I think of anything. Jurgen, shouldn't you be at the arena? I had to run an errand. I didn't know you were friends of Isla. Yep. We didn't know you two were friends either. We're more than just friends. Isla's my fiancé. Fiancé? Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Isla, these people are serving as our clan's champions in the tournament. Is that so? Oh, marriage. I know what that is. May you breed like rats and produce many children that survive childbirth. Uh... <laughs> Oh, there's sign. I'm sorry. I'd come watch, but I have to work today. That's too bad. Pray for our victory. All right, let's get to the Coliseum. Guys, always yelling about mutton. Just gonna head down here. Talk to our ship person. Oh, Jurgen, you were with them. Have their companions arrived? Yes, they're waiting. Jude, guess what? Jurgen and Isla know each other. They're actually engaged. You're kidding. When's the big day? <laughs> Come on, stop it, you two. It's not for a while. And get this. Isla is taking care of Alvin's mom. It really is a small world. Wait, what's wrong with Alvin's mom? No need to worry about her, busybody. What about you? Learn anything about Elise? A little. She seems to have remembered something about her parents. Not enough to give us any clues, though. I see. Playtime's over. We're just about to get started. Head to the reception desk when you're ready. We're expecting big things from you. Knock them dead. Alrighty. Let's go. Won't be at your best if you're nervous. Relax. R right. They're the only combatants who won't be controlling monsters with beastcraft. Their skills are a complete mystery. This will either be a short fight or an interesting one. Um, did he just say monsters? Here come their opponents! Let's do this. Alright, let's knock out these crabs. How Okay. Oh, 
That crowd is saying so still. I don't know. I like linking up with Jude because it's just useful to get up. <laughs> Let us move onward. Okay, champions! Make this one count! Just back it up and then we'll okay. spam. Oh. 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 Heart spam like that is just crazy. <laughs> DPS. And there you have it, folks. The guitar champions have fought their way to a place in the finals. We did it! We won! It nearly went the other way, though. Come on, that was a cinch. I beg to differ. Those matches were quite demanding. Our little buddy Alvin's a big fat liar! Right, Ellie? Yes. It wasn't easy at all. Aw, oh, come on, guys. It's clear that my strength has grown. I should be ready now. Nice work out there. Those were some fantastic fights. The finals begin after lunch. All the other entrants will be there too, though, so don't expect cheery company. Anyway, you better grab some food. What's up with her? Scoping out our opponents for the finals? Well, yeah, of course. What if you spy a cute little she-warrior? Someone who's totally your type. What? Why would that make a difference? I'm here to fight, not flirt. <laughs> We've made it to the finals. To be honest, I wasn't sure you had it in you. Why? We told you we'd win. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, please help yourselves. You'll need to have enough energy to win the finals. Huh? Jurgen, we've got a problem. What is it? Turns out that rockfall was no accident. They found signs that someone destroyed the cliff intentionally. What? Don't touch the food! What? Why? What? What's happening? Do you detect that faint odor? I know of this, yes. There can be no doubt. It's metasenia, a poison that dissolves in liquid. Are you serious? Why would anyone do this? 
Do our opponents want to win that badly? No, it wasn't them. Only one group would use such cowardly means. <clears throat> Alvin, wait! What's going on? Things were going so well! Why is this happening? Mila, do you know something? <gasps> Exodus is behind this conspiracy. What's that? It's an organization that has been trying to assassinate me for some time. Wait, so you're saying that poison just now? Was likely intended for me. I am truly sorry for those who died instead. Goodness. To think they would murder a room full of people indiscriminately just to kill you. Yes. They've never been very subtle with their measures. But this act was especially heinous. That's terrible! Why are they after you? Because I've been destroying their Spyrexes ever since Exodus first appeared with them 20 years ago. That's quite some time ago. Hold on. Does that include the Lance of Kresnik? That weapon uses Spyrex. Does that mean Exodus is involved? I suspect the Lance was originally made by Exodus, but I cannot prove it. It's not easy to identify their members. They've blended into the populace. Until now, I've only been able to do so when they used Spyrex. I can sense the spirits dying because of it. Wait, what? Every time a Spyrex generates arts, it drives spirits to their deaths. Humans and spirits have a reciprocal relationship. You borrow their power to live, while spirits live off the mana produced by humans' mana lobes. At first glance, Spyrex might seem like a dream come true. In actuality, it throws this delicate balance completely off kilter. As long as Spyrex exists, neither humans nor spirits can live in peace. I feel like such a fool. This is all news to me. Of course it is. I've been dealing with these matters on my own while ensuring that humans remain unaware. Mila's been fighting this whole time? Yeah. She's been struggling all by herself. For the world. For us. Huh. Until recently, that is. Now that I've lost the power of the Four, I've dragged humans into my struggle. For that, I am sorry. How is everyone? We were the meal's only survivors. Naturally, the finals have been postponed. Don't expect to fight for two days, possibly longer. They didn't cancel them? The tournament committee had a heated debate over the issue. But this tournament is only once a decade. Any sign of Alvin yet? Unfortunately, no. I see. Well, please pass along the news. I'll return once the details are decided. Don't you think we should forfeit the tournament? I think so, too. You're probably right. We're all exhausted. Let's retire for the day and revisit this. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Come to the point where I can't let him carry on any longer. He said his mother was here in town. Frickin' Alvin. I don't know where we're supposed to go. We haven't run this way yet. So that takes us to another boatman. Ooh, there's a little quest here.
Alright, I guess I can do that at some point. Let's check out this elevator up here. Oh, I guess it's going the right way. Where'd you come from? Is this your house? Mom's, actually. Look, I'm sorry I darted off like that. I was just about to head back to the inn. <clears throat> Aren't we frisky today? Tell me what you know about Exodus. Exodus? That's some new music group? I heard you talking with Derek that night in La Ronde. You were faking it? That's cheating, you know. You're not one to talk. Answer the question. Are you a member of Exodus? Give me a break. I hate those jerks as much as you do. They've blackmailed me into working for them. I want out, but I'm stuck. Because of your mother. You believe me? Well, to paraphrase Tipo, you are a big fat liar. Well, the Spud's got that right. No point in roughing me up for answers. Because you can't trust anything I say. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To search for the Exodus agents. Mind if I tag along? You know, in case you feel frisky again. Do whatever you want. been we were worried sick sorry about that you too alvin next time you storm off tell us where you're going first simmer down kid besides looks like elise wants to say something um i think that isla might know something about me why do you say that she took a long look at elise and went pale as a ghost she dashed off like she was all scared of us and stuff! I see. If we spot Isla, we won't let her get away this time. We'll ask her what she knows, okay? Okay. Hey, shouldn't you folks be hightailing it to the arena? The tournament's gonna start up soon. Hey, we can't be late for our own tournament! We'll be disqualified if we don't make it back in time. Is that really so bad? Weren't you thinking of forfeiting? A wise woman once told me that hesitation is a common human failing. We must keep moving forward, even when the path is uncertain. Ah, I suppose so. Thank you. How did you know we were tournament fighters? Hmm? Why else would you be here? Outsiders are either combatants or spectators when it's tournament time. That's just common sense around here. Why'd you ask them that? Sorry, something just clicked in my head. Let's head to the arena. <laughs> 